Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So guys, in today's video, it's not going to be like the previous Iron Twins videos I've done. The previous Iron Twins videos I've done have been trying to be helpful. I've been trying to give you guys some ideas to make teams, hopefully pretty easy, pretty consistent, and not destroying your other teams you have. But today's video, I want to talk about, is it even worth it for you to farm this whatsoever? So Iron Twins Fortress, we're going to be mostly talking about stage 15, but honestly, this relates to really any stage you're farming, period. So let me know. I definitely want to hear you guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. I'm going to be reading through them because this may not even be the best opinion. My opinion may change after seeing your guys' thoughts, but do you think it's worth farming? After that, do you think it's worth doing the reset? So on Sundays, it's double rewards, so it's probably worth farming then if it ever is. But as far as throughout the week, check this out. This is what made me want to do this video. This is terrible results. I did 12 runs. Of those 12 runs, I got one of the essences, and I got the lowest possible amount of essence, four. That is terrible, okay? These ones over here on the far right, that's going to cost a lot of those. I don't know exactly how many it costs to take a champion from five-star to six-star perfect souls. I think it's very, very expensive, like maybe 300. I don't know, but it's going to take forever to actually get that if you purchase them from the shop. Now, just using four. If you come in here to the shop, what can you get with just using four immortal soul essences? Well, nothing. It's going to take you a while to actually be able to get anything. Now, if you were doing these runs and you were getting maybe, say, 20 a day, that'd be a completely different story. But I just got four from 12 runs, and I haven't seen very many at all from each day that I've done the refreshes. Every single day that I've been doing this, I've been doing the 150, key, 150 gym key refreshes, so I got six extra keys, and these have been my results. You can see my stuff up top. I'll go over what all I've done, what all I've bought, and everything. My resources are not very high. So as far as what you can buy with these, you can buy a rare champion if you get four soul essences. You can buy almost an epic champion. And after five days of farming, you can get a legendary champion. So let's say for five days straight, I had terrible RNG, which seems to be a consistent across my luck with these soul stones. I'll get into the summonings in just a minute. But let's go ahead and check this out. So I spent 240 energy and 190 gems. The reason why it's 190 gems is because I needed one refill to actually get to the 240 energy. So say it was the exact same thing over five days. Well, you're going to be looking at 950 gems as well as, let's go ahead and check this out, what I say? Five, 1,200 energy. So 950 gems, 1,200 energy. Now, obviously, you can get free energy. It's just going to cost the gems. If it was just the gems, 150 times five is going to be 750 gems. 750 gems, you're 150 gems away from getting 11 ancient shards. So for you, 11 ancient shards may be a better deal. Maybe this is a better deal. Now, as far as the actual soul coins, let's see how many um, summons you'll get from that. So let's go ahead and get rid of some of my, uh, my, my, I leaked my info just now. I leaked what's about to come up. So here we go. This is what I spent. This is what it's going to get. Okay. Oh my goodness. I can't click worth anything. Okay. So scroll this down a little bit. Six days rewards. All right. Let's go ahead and focus just on this. So if you refresh for six days, not including Sunday, because Sunday, the rewards are double. So I'd say it is worth farming then, but let's say you did six days and you got my exact luck, which I'd say is pretty bad luck. So 11,000 coins is what you're going to get. That's going to be 11 mortal summons. Now, initially that sounds pretty okay. Okay. So basically through a week, you're going to be doing 900 gems worth of refreshes, spending your energy, 11 mortal summons. Well, I want to remind you guys of something. Okay. I'm going to link the video somewhere around here. I'm going to try to remember, but I did a 120, I think mortal soul stone summoning video. And guess what guys of all those shards, the first, the chunk of 100 shards that I did zero legendary champions. I summoned literally 100 mortal soul stones and got zero legendary champions. This is why my resources are so incredibly low. I've spent about $120 on this system so far, just on soul stones. And this is what I have to show for it, which is nothing. Now I am going to say my luck, I think is the worst luck of anybody that I've seen period, even free players. Okay. I've seen free players with better luck than me, but even if I sold all my champions I currently have, this is what I'm going to get, 200, 244 measly gold coins. What is that going to get me? Nothing. Just depression, basically. So 200 uh, gold coins, that's going to give me six immortal soul essences. Guys, this, this price, these prices of this system is so incredibly inflated. It's ridiculous. Let alone the 
energy cost of this is also ridiculous. Majority of players, you're going to want to spend your energy in Ice Golem, Spider, Dragon, Fire Knight. Heck, Ice Golem is going to give you gear to progress your account. Ice Golem is typically referred to as a dungeon that people least like to farm, but it's going to give you the gear. Iron Twins Fortress, it's not going to give you any gear whatsoever. Now, I'm going to get into that tangent in just a minute. We're going to talk about the actual account progress that it actually makes, but before that, Let's talk a little bit more about this, okay? So 11 mortal summons. Now with those summons, you are gonna get the 200 gold coins. So the 200 gold coins are gonna be able to get you a few more of these soul essences, what, four? So nothing crazy, but you're gonna get a few extra, okay? So you're not completely at a loss and you're gonna get a little bit of extra stuff when you sell the uh, the rare champions you, actually, let's go ahead and do this. We'll do a few summons, okay? So rare champion number one, um, there we go. Let's see how much we get after doing this, okay? Maybe I get a legendary, Madam Saris. Okay, perfect soul. Two star for Madam Saris, definitely not bad. Definitely not a bad thing whatsoever. I'll do one. Actually, I'll, let's go stop it right here. Okay. Last one and another epic. So here, not too bad. Let me go in here and actually sell these. So I got 200 soul coins. Go in here to the soul collection. Don't need that. Don't need that. I'll keep the Madam Saris. And then I don't need one of that epics that I just summoned, whoever that was. Oh, Vildrex. 38 gold coins. That's terrible. 38 gold coins is nothing. We get 24 and 72. The system just takes so long. To be honest, it takes so long to actually earn much. And honestly, the tournaments and events have been having coins, which is pretty decent. Using those coins, you can get some stuff from the altar. Now, as far as what you can get from the altar, okay? So obviously, this stuff is going to be expensive. But what does it unlock? Does the stuff it unlocks, is it actually worth getting it for your champions? Is it needed? Is it going to allow you to actually complete content? Well, check out the blessings. I'm going to argue, no. Honestly, I don't think the blessings are worth it for most players. The reason why I say that is because it's so much RNG involved. It's more, significantly more RNG than shard openings. There are some players who open shard, open these mortal soul stones, and you see people getting six star, fully awakened, I don't know, maybe a perfect soul for, say, Ultimate Death Knight, perfect soul for the damage dealer, perfect soul for even a rare champion could be game-changing for certain areas of the game, like Clan Boss, possibly. Maybe pushes them a few extra million damage, maybe breaks into that two to three key damage maybe now you're doing two key damage maybe you're doing even one key damage now so some people are going to get lucky they may have a different opinion but for most of the players i don't think altar of souls and getting the blessings on your champions are going to take you from doing stage 19 or stage 24 of whatever dungeon you're doing to stage 20 or 25 allowing you to move to that next level nor will it allow you to go to the next level in faction wars there's definitely going to be situations where you do get lucky and are able to do that but a consistent factor that's going to allow you to go from doing those lower stages of dungeons to now doing those higher stages of dungeons are, is spending your energy in Ice Golem, Spider, Dragon, and Fire Knight, or getting your Masteries in Minotaur. I mean, your Minotaur Labyrinth, okay, you're going to be spending, what is it, about 600 gems? That is, what, four days about? Let's see. 150 times four, that's, that's four days. It's going to be about 600 gems. That's four refreshes of the Iron Twins Fortress, okay? right that is right correct yeah so four days of that you're gonna be able to get one champion fully mastered which is going to give you significantly more improvement than the iron twins fortress ever will so as a dungeon for a lot of players i think it really depends i think the iron twins fortress and the blessings do help in pvp i think pvp it's going to be where it's most well that's really where most the wailing happens right getting these blessings getting these blessings on champions for pvp could make, definitely make a pretty big difference. Pushing your clan boss team that's maybe already a one key to maybe a more significant one key, it's going to be a pretty big difference. But as far as getting you to clear content, I'm not for sure I'm seeing it happen. So as far as the Iron Twins go, spending your energy there, if it was just keys, this would be a different story. If it was just keys, if it was a lot quicker, let alone the whole thing, it takes like 30 minutes a day to run. If you're doing 12 keys, 12, 24, 36 minutes. If you're just doing six keys, it's going to be about 18 minutes assuming you have a three minute team which is a relatively fast team i've seen some teams with well over 10 minutes which is crazy so obviously the time commitment there is pretty significant the energy commitment also pretty significant so if you're somebody who's still working through the game you're still working on faction wars you're still working on a typical pve progression i don't think it's worth it guys i just don't think it is now i'm going to still be falling to their trap and still going to be doing my refreshes, still going to be working towards this stuff. I do get the content creator perks, so the, the gems each week to refresh this kind of balance out with the content creator perks. It makes sense in that way. I'm going to keep trying it, honestly. I'm thinking about it during this video, though, and I don't even know if it's even worth it, for real. 
But then again, I could just be jaded because I've had, honestly, abysmally bad luck. Like, I don't even know. It's it's laughable. It's honestly laughable. That video was, oh, so brutal. If you guys want a refresher on how, like, I don't even want to buy this. This shard right here, if I would have had good luck, I would have been buying that. But I had such bad luck that this shard, useless. Only thing I'm going to be buying with these coins is more soul essences to buy stuff from the soul merchant. I think the soul merchant is such an amazing place to get your stuff from that this is where I'll be doing it. It's still expensive. It still takes a while to earn it. But if you're very, very meticulous, very, very careful about what you actually spend it on, I think this is going to be the place to get your champions max. Ursuga, two-star split soul, it's pretty nice. I got enough stuff to actually buy it, but there is no way that I'm actually going to do it because I know later down the road, I'm going to have to spend way more soul essence. I'll go ahead and buy 10 right now. I have to spend way more soul essence to actually get those six-star fully awakened champions that I actually want. The six-star split souls are going to be ridiculous prices. Now, I don't think it's even immortal essences for those. I think it's uh, these eternal soul essences. But basically, guys, what I'm trying to say is be mindful. I assume that if you... You probably already got your opinions made on the Iron Twins Fortress. The fact that it takes so much time, so much energy, and the rewards don't really seem to weigh out right, in my opinion. I mean, if you think about it, if you do six keys a week, okay? So if you're refreshing six times, six times 150, that's 900 gems. Do you know what else is 900 gems? Let's come in here. So for me, 900 gems could be 11 ancient shards. 11 ancient shards could be even some rare champions are going to be usable, okay? It could be a rare champion who's semi-usable. It could be an epic champion who actually changes your account. Probably not going to be a legendary champion, so let's not even go there. But even more than that, it's going to be champions you can feed to get your next six-star champion. So something to keep in mind. Now, for me, that's not necessarily super enticing. I got plenty of six-star champions. I got plenty of five-star champions for the next champion training event coming up. But player, majority of players are not in this situation. Majority of players, you need your next six-star champion. So while I don't say, while I'm not trying to say buying ancient shards is the best thing to do from the shop, it is very equivalent to doing your refreshes from the Iron Twins Fortress. Now, refreshes, probably not going to be worth it for most players. But as far as actually spinning your keys, that's really up to the individual player. If um, 240 energy, that's what it's going to be, right? So it's going to be 6 times 20, 120, sorry, 120 energy in this dungeon. If that's not a big deal for you, then yeah, go ahead and spend it. But if you'd rather spend the 120 energy on, say, Spider Den Stage 25, do six runs there, or about seven, almost eight runs in Stage 20, if you find more value in that, do that, guys. But I just want to share my thoughts about this. I do kind of wish they take away the energy requirements. I don't really see why it's there. Energy gets lost if you do your run. The keys get saved. Should just be keys. If it was just keys, it'd be great. I mean, other than the time commitment, yeah, there's no reason to not farm it. But the energy cost, the low value of the rewards, the RNG of the rewards, I just don't think it makes a ton of sense. Now, if you don't do it, you do need to make sure you're doing your tournaments and events to try to get your soul coins and your um, soul summon stones because you do want to be able to buy stuff from the market whenever it does come up. So 500 soul coins, pretty decent. Win that twice, you get a soul coin, soul essence, soul stone. <laughs> These are all so confusing, guys. Um, but either way, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it made some sense. I want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. Wow, look at my soul collection. Looks so beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah, I know you're jealous. But guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your weekend.